December 25th. Just getting started. I'm out here in Fort Payne, Alabama, about an hour behind where I would like to be. It's just recently started raining. I'm going to meet John and Jessup down in Birmingham. I'm heading on I 59 South. I'm making decent time. Had a roadblock and some other stuff, but that's all good. Uh, heading off Texas. Going to go out to Coleman, Texas on the Water Star. Probably be. Uh, Back on the 30th, I think. I got a, I got a buddy Stan Payne going to join us tomorrow. That'll be fun. Got a good crowd of us, so it'll be a fun time. We got a boy, got some nasty weather coming up. We're just coming up to it. I wish I took a picture of the radar. We are going to go through the belly of the beast, all kinds of tornado warnings and everything. We're probably going to ride rain all the way through to Louisiana. And after that, they got snow and some other stuff. So hopefully we'll cruise on through and make good time. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Christmas 2012 with Phil and John. That's I right. got Phil on the camera. John, your host, an old world-renowned hunter, Stan Payne, will be joining us in Dallas somewhere. Look at us. We're packing boots. We're going to look like Sanford and Sunrise. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. But you We're know what? Our stuff together. This is fun now. I'm gonna tell you what, those are Stan Payne Look suits. Look how big those things, you couldn't, you couldn't pay me to wear those and hop around the woods in. I don't think you got the strength. I don't. Let's go, oh. let me help you load. We gotta beat this weather. We're getting off to the airport. We meet right here in Birmingham at a station there. We'll, we'll be in the truck. Hey everybody. Morning, it's uh, December 26th. Phil and John Jay heading down I-20. We are just inside the Texas uh, state line, maybe 30, 40 miles. And look at the snow on the side of the road and in the trees. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You know what this is giving me right now? This is giving me a, a hankering to kill something. See that blood on that white snow? We'll be tracking something now. I got Phil over here driving. He's a little nervous. Not yeah. sure what the roads are going to do. Yeah, I'm worried to death right now. Worried we won't get there. If we don't get there, I can't bear the thought of John not being able to shoot something. <laughs> That's killing me. <laughs> uh, We're going to meet Stan. He should be uh, arriving on time in the uh, Dallas airport at uh, 9 local time, which is an hour and 45 minutes so we'll all be pretty much on schedule it'll be nice if we make it there's the big one right there we don't know what the weather has we should drive out of the snow when we get to dallas or so so good it's been, hey I, I just want y'all to know to bring you this video what we have gone through Absolutely. we went we went through tor torrential downpours last night Tornadoes. We could see tornadoes just hopping out of the sky in the horizon. Everywhere. But we, awesome. you know what? We kept going. We <laughs> pedal down, Bubba. We I wanted stop. to stop, but John said, "Don't give up." <laughs> I said, "Okay, John, I'll do it for you, buddy." And now, now we've got icy roads. I mean, there's probably a half inch on these roads. Absolutely. But we had to slow down under 80 the whole time. We just listen. We're gonna get there. We're not worried about it. So anyhow. That's kind of what we're up to. I'm gonna pan up, see if y'all can see Stan's plane. I know it's up there. He's flying over us about right now, so. Anyway, well actually he probably hadn't caught up to us yet. But, all right, so that's it for now. We're gonna check back in with you here shortly. There you go, boys. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> hey, John Jay here with Phil on the camera. World-renowned hunter Stan Payne. You've probably heard of him. He's been on shows like To Kill Everything on ESPN and so forth and so on. We're here on uh, the Ward Ranch, day after Christmas. It's uh, 4 o'clock. We're running late. We are headed to the stands, and we're going to go kill some. We got to go. We got enough gear loaded. We're going <laughs> to... Hey, we're... All right. I'm on the Bermuda field. Uh, first evening, I guess it's about 4.15, I think. I got a, turn this around. Yeah, there I am. I got a stand hunting in Dennis's stand. I got um, John over on the dam of the lake. This is a new stand right here. This is Cadillac and Deluxe. I, I'm not used to this. Pretty nice. Got a gear set right here. 
gonna be hunting this feeder across out in front of you there, if you can see that. And uh, we'll be looking, I got my coyote call. That is a turkey feeder that you see in the field. And I got my coyote call sitting out in one of these little small scrub cedar. I'll turn it on low, close to dark, see if anything comes up to that. But uh, I looked with my binoculars and I don't see any corn on the feeder. I hope it goes off. I've got some in the buggy, but I just didn't think to pour it out before. Anyway, that's another story. Maybe I'll see something anyway. Oh, buddy. I turned on my call just to test it. And immediately that big, uh, that big hawk you see over on the tree line. See if I can find him for you. He came in and started uh, attacking my, my call. <laughs> So anyway, he swooped down on it a couple, three times before I could get the camera turned on. But anyway, that's pretty good fun. There he is over there across the field. I moved out on me. That's all good. Well, I guess that's a wrap. Had two does come in, fed off, and got what they wanted. Had one small coal buck across the field, and I watched him from the left over here all the way across. And he crossed in that wood line, a little uh, fork horn. We'll come back for him later, probably. Or maybe leave him. We're going to put some corn out. I'm going to run my coyote call here for a few minutes right before it gets dark, so now that the deer are gone. Ooh. A little cold this morning. Had a good hunt. I had a, one small doe and uh, two good sized does. Uh, a little small one came in early and uh, the other two never came to the feeder. Hunted the cliff line this morning. Overlooks this big draw right here in front of us. Uh, my video camera doesn't work good in the cold. Neither do I. But uh, it uh, it wouldn't film the early deer this morning. But I got the little buck who he was on there. So maybe uh, maybe Lee or some of his son or them won't come back over here and hunt this evening. He's a little smaller than I care for. But I probably shoot a doe though if I see one next. So let's go see what's staying. I left them uh, up here this morning. They were spaced out on the west boundary. So we'll go pick them up, see what they did. How was it this morning, fellas? What? what? Johnny what Jessup just... laying them down. Well, what are you talking about? The stands over there texting me, just begging me to kill something. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't leave me alone. I'd beep, 
Beep! Shoot it! Please shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> I had to, I had to shoot one for Count me. <laughs> That's great. Uh, What'd you got? Good dough? Yeah, it's probably it's the biggest one of the four or five that, that were out there. Good. So, All right. Well, let's go bag him up and haul him so in the camp. get some back straps on the grill. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. All right. There she stand up there, Johnny. And you were... There's a great white hunter. Yeah, and where did she run, old oh, buddy? Well, she came down through here and went this way. All and right. And there's blood and tracks going this way. Just come on. Come on. Here it comes, the blood this way. Here we go, down here. Down there. Hey, right there. Holy smokes. It just didn't go oh, far, yeah, did it? She fell underneath the feeder. Good shooting. Good shooting, my Take friend. It easy on us. Outstanding. Good shot, Johnny. Yeah. After lunch, duck hunt right here. Come here, Johnny. That's what I need you to do right here, old buddy. Feel. Just go Eat. all the way down to the end okay. and around the corner. Right. And don't go any farther and stay close. Right. Right. Listen. And don't flush the duck. Don't go look over the edge. Just stand right there below the dam and they'll come by you, okay? See the little one you just walked in front? Yeah. That, the, the one behind you. Yeah, the one you that's want. the one I see. All right, hold on, stay on it. She's got her butt facing you right now. That's, that's a good one to the left, too, is broadside. But it's got his, it, his front shoulder hidden and exposed good yet. All the way left. The far left one. Okay, let's go for that one. I'm going to the camera. Is that the one you're going to take? Yeah. All right, when you're ready, you just say when you're ready. All right. Right behind the shoulder. Right behind the shoulder. Go. <laughs> She's dead. Hold on. Hold on. Let that one right there stop and I'll pop her. All right, all right, she's dead. <laughs> she's out there flopping around. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, old buddy. Can't leave. <laughs> there it is. How about it, fellas? Wrapping it up. <laughs> Wrapping it up. We're done. John Jay here. Signing off. What did we see? We saw uh, hundreds of deer. We saw some probably 140 class bucks that uh, just escaped death, sure enough. So, um, because of a crow. <laughs> Thank you, sure. crow. <laughs> oh, let's see. We, we have, what, five deer going back home? Two... Yeah, one. Five. Five, five deer, three turkey, a, a duck, duck, and a dove. <laughs> now talk about a smorgasbord full of food. That's right. Uh, we've had a great time. Wilbur, if you see this, thank you a bunch. Bill, thanks for the invite. Always enjoyable in the camera action there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stan enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun with you. Thank you, neighbor. World-renowned hunter. Thank you, Wilbur. John oh, Jay man. signing off. That's it. We're out of here.